I cannot get this opening out without tripping over my own words. All I want to do is say Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy the day today. But I've done this like 12 times in the last eight minutes, and I keep flubbing it up. I'm like, ah, come on, all I want to do is say Merry Christmas, I hope you enjoy yourself today, and that you were able to spend it in the company of others that you care about. The food is good, and the sleep is luxurious. That's all I need to say, and I've been screwed it up for the last five minutes. Ah. Uh. You know, really, I should be taking this enthusiasm and having my own day out with the rest of the family, but unfortunately it fell through this morning, so uh, here I am, uh, sitting in front of a camera for on Christmas Day, so, yeah, whatever. This is a terrible opening. I, I just want to be nice. That's all I want. I just, I just want to be nice, because I'm going to be ranting and raving for the rest of the video, so just, can, can I at least start it out nicely? <sighs> Yes, anyways, breakfast was good, and uh, I'm looking forward to dinner in a couple of hours. And I hope that uh, I hope that you got the same as well. Ah, okay, intro's out of the way. So, uh, I teased this one, what, four days ago? Whatever it was, four or five days ago when I recorded this, I teased this, and uh, now it's time to actually carry through with it. The Cho Zenkai Gataiju Zenkaiju O which is absolutely a mouthful of a, of, of a title. Let's just call it Zenkaiju. You know, can we, we can just settle for that? Can we? Really? Okay, let's go. So this bad boy popped up uh, a few weeks, or was it a month or so after I did the um, initial reaction to, to Kaio, and I was going to make a video of it, but I didn't. End of story. And I'd actually held off for quite a while, like, yeah, I'm going to be doing review, or I'm going to do an un uh, uh, um, unboxing, unboxing, yeah, sure, whatever, I'm going to be doing a uh, uh, an initial reaction, initial reaction, initial reaction, and I kept putting it off, putting it off, and eventually it didn't happen. Uh, so I kind of don't know a lot about this guy. I know I want it, because, like, who came up with the brilliant idea of doing two homages in one figure? Well, technically three homages, because you've, you've got uh, Gokaiger mixed in there as well. But, like, you've got Dragon Caesar, which is an, which is an admitted homage to, um, what's he called? Um, Godzilla, Gojira. What's he called? Yeah, like, I really don't know that. And, 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 and everybody loved it, but then at the exact same time, it was also the Dragon Zord. It was the debut of Power Rangers. It's like... Wow. Okay, and then a lot of people loved Time Ranger. I tried watching Time Ranger. I, I just... It's not that I burned out on it, just it didn't... doesn't hold anything with me. Wow. What's this? Is this uh, Super Zenkaiser? Yeah, Super Zenkaiser. So this is his powered-up form. Wow. Look at all those posability options on here. <laughs> so yeah, we have the Dragon Zord, and then we have the Quantasaurus Rex at the same time. Oh yeah, was nice. Oh my God! Just noticed. Look at the size of this bag, and then look at the size of the figure that was in it. Look at this. This is not just me, folks. This cannot just be me. I unboxed uh, Zenkaio, both Zenkaios, the other day. None of their bags were this bag. Or big. Yeah, none of their bags, none of their bigs were this bag. What the hell? This cannot just be me who's finding issue with this. Really? Holy crap. Okay, so while it takes me five minutes to carefully and cleanly put away this bag, uh, yeah, you have the Dragon Zord. And then the Quantasaurus Rex. I know, it's called the V-Rex, blah, blah, blah. Um, love the Dragon Zord. Love the Dragon Zord, or Dragon Caesar, as the case may be. Uh, love both of them. But not the V-Rex. Never felt it. For, for that matter, other than the mecha, and kind of sort of the roleplay, um, not interested in Time Ranger. Now, I've got Shout Factory's uh, Time Ranger series on complete DVD. You know, I've got that whole thing. Now that I think about it, I never finished watching it. I just... Mm, it was, it's, it's, it's okay. Just... 
I, I don't know. Now, I saw a bit, though not all, of um, Power Rangers Time Force when it came out at the time, but I was... Actually, I can't remember why it is. I wasn't... Oh, you know what I think it was? I think I was involved in Lego Bionicle at the time. So, like, all my attention was over there, and Time Rangers just kind of right past me. So, I mean, I've got the Time Force Megazord, and I've got the Shadow Force Megazord, or, um, Time Shadow Megazord. I've got both of them, and, yeah, they're neat. I love them. Oh, boy, they've both taken damage over the years, which is why I'd never reviewed them, by the way. But, yeah, in terms of Time Ranger, just, mm, don't care. Now, I did watch, um... <laughs> um, now, I did watch, um, oh, what's it called, uh, Jew Ranger. I did watch the complete DVD set of that, and how is it that, uh, uh, you know, the Black Ranger, I can't, can't think of the Black Ranger's name, how is it the Black Ranger didn't, didn't get any character episodes? That's weird. That's kind of a normal thing, whatever. It's like uh, G Ranger, whose theme song is like an earworm, but in the bad way. Um, yeah, I don't care. So, but you know, I did get my start on uh, Mighty F Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one. So, uh, yeah, nothing to complain. Here's the V Rex's head. You can't see it because it's a show. It's the V Rex's head. Lovely. I don't want the V Rex. Never wanted the V-Rex, never wanted the Q-Rex. No interest would know. Um, what are you called? Goju Jin? Yeah, from Gokaiju. I've got Goju Jin right there, which is a brilliant mishmash of all three. But uh, that being said, um, just not a Time Ranger fan, and, and Jew Ranger is... Jew Ranger is Jew Ranger. I don't know, so whatever. And what's this? Oh, boy, we've got, we've got a little attachment piece here. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm, that looks suspiciously like one of Magine's uh, wing clips. That's what that looks like. It's not immediately obvious where that goes. Um, I should point out, changing topics, I should point out that um, all of my uh, Zenkaio videos have have been published as of right now. They've all been published. More than one person has pointed out that my rant about uh, the instructions being incomplete is actually inaccurate. It turns out that uh, Bandai has decided to, it, it, if I understand these people correctly, I could be wrong about this. But by the way, this freaking Dragon Zord's tail again, somehow also mixed up with. Uh, um, Oh, what's a, oh wow, hello. That's a that's a thing. Okay. Also somehow mixed up with the crappy V Rex's tail as well. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the V Rex. Like if it auto transforms all by itself, where's the fun in it for me? Oh, you could tell it what to do and it transforms. Okay, to be fair, that's kind of a neat idea. Anyways, uh getting back to the instructions thing. Uh it turns out that Bandai is going all digital with their uh with their instructions. So what you're supposed to do is let's see. Oh, here it is, right here. There's a you can't read it cuz the resolution's too low. But according to this, uh you want to go to toy.bandai.com uh, co.jp slash manuals slash pdf you know what, I'll just post it right there whatever it is you're supposed to go to that website and that's where the instructions are located now so Bandai is actually eliminating paper instructions and they've been doing this uh, for a, a, a little while now They've and, and I was told that they've also been doing it with Command Writer because I don't follow Command Writer I wouldn't I wouldn't know about this so apparently Bandai's instructions are going paperless now so the Zenkai Zenkaio and um, Kira Mazin videos that I made that question has been answered. So it's not as crazy as I thought it was. I was like, what, are you just expecting kids to figure out how these things work? Well, it turns out the instructions are actually online now. They're all digital. You're supposed to look them up on your phone. So that's what the story with that is. Which, in the grand scheme of things, 
from the whole reduce, reuse, recycle perspective, that's actually not a bad idea. Oh, the guns are separate, or the cannons are separate. Hmm, I didn't know that. Okay. Or not separate, they're in separate bags. I thought they'd be in the same bag. Oh, well. <sighs> this is one of the V-Rex's cannons, and it is very hollow. That's a bit disappointing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to get some detail on the other side, but just... Ew. I've also been told that, yes, my, uh... Was it my Zenkaio, um... Jura, or Juran Gaon, uh, definitely has a, a loose wire in there, so... That was also confirmed by somebody else, so... Mm. I'm still gonna remove the battery first chance I get, you know? Cause, like, the jingle, like, I don't care about the jingle. Doesn't matter to me. I do like the theme song, the opening theme for Zenkaiser. I do, I do like that. Credit where credit's do. It's just the show is wh y yet another exaggerated, as somebody else pointed to, out to me. It's very anime, anime-ish, or it's you know cartoony anime style format. And yeah, I absolutely agree with that. You can do that without. Um, uh, what's it? What's it called? You you could do that without the the kind of cartoonish physical gags or whatever it is, which they've already been doing. I suppose they've been they've been trying to do that for a while now. So it's one of those things when a character says something kind of, um, in the modern day internet parlance, you would say "bruh." Uh, there's that moment when characters one character will say something stupid and then everybody will go "ah." You know, it's one of those those kinds of things. So, yeah, they're trying to do that with uh, Super Sentai, and other people have also noticed this. So, yeah. I mean, it's not that the topics that the show brings up are, are bad. It's just the format of the show is just changed in such a way it just doesn't have the draw for me like it used to. Although it was recently announced that the writer for uh, the upcoming 2022 series, Avataro Sentai Dan Brothers, what a name by the way, uh, is apparently the guy who wrote Jetman 30 years ago. Wow. So, um, it makes me wonder if, uh, makes me wonder if uh, Dan Brothers is actually going to be a bit more on the serious side. I don't know. Okay, time to go to the instruction site. Now, if I had a cell phone readily available, there's a scan, there's a code right there that you can scan. I will, you know, I'll link the, the, the thing below and I'll look up the instructions and I'm actually going to be looking at the instructions online. And there it is. Hey, look at that. Uh, it is completely in Japanese. But here's the cool part. The instructions are all in color. As rightfully it should be. As rightfully it should be. Okay. Alright. There they are. I'll leave a bookmark. Or I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description below. So you just click on that and it'll give you the instructions. Makes me wonder if I should also look up the ones for um Zenkayo, the the two Zenkayos and, and link them in their respective videos. So I won't be able. To, I'm not going to change the format of the. I'm not, I'm not going to re-upload the videos. It takes like two and a half, three hours for me to upload an hour and a half video or whatever it is. So like, I'm not going to do it all over again just to edit one little thing or whatever it is. So, okay, there we go. Cool. All right. So I've got the instructions now. Yay! He's already figured out the chest. And I suppose I could figure out all of these things all by myself, but I'm not going to mess with it. Why wouldn't you pick them into the back? You pick them into the back of the shoulders? Really? Why? God, these cannons feel so hollow. Why? Why, 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 why are these hollow? Why? Makes, don't make no sense. Now see, if it was me, I would put the cannons on these spots on the back, on the back of the torso. There's two, there's two plug-ins right there. That's, that's where I would put it, so... I don't know why they did that. Oh, you... I forgot it does this. Well, actually, I don't know a lot about this toy. Like, I, I know what it changes into. It's all well and good. But, like, I don't know how it transforms. 
Why would Bandai? Why would you do a? No, it's not PVC, but it's really thin. The the handle was pegged into place and it's designed to pop off, but at the same time you need to force it into the hand because of the friction of the peg. Which means it's, it's it, it, this has the potential to break at the joint where you expect it to, which means it's entirely possible he's never going to be able to hold it ever again. If you twist it the wrong way, just say, "Ew, why would you do that?" Okay, why is it why why is this dark gray here? Or you know, technically a black. Why is it dark gray here, and then it's not painted on the sides? I hate it when they do that. That looks cheap. Looks really cheap when they do that. It looks looks very knockoff, bootleg, whatever. Okay, so that's his weapon. Is that it? Oh, and then we've got. Uh, What's it called? Super Super Two Kaiser SD, which uh, looking forward to this. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, that's the back of him. Now, because I've not, I have not gotten a uh, what's it called? A I I don't have a Two Kaio, and I don't intend to get one anytime soon. This is going to end up being. Uh, a figure that just kind of sits off to the side, and that's the end of it. So that moves. Boy, that that little helmet thing here—it's just that little bit. You barely even notice it, and it doesn't click very well. It's just friction that holds it in place. Hmm. Nice head. Whatever. Does his head turn? Oh, his head turns. Oh, okay. All right. I see what you did there. Oh, oh, and now it's not moving. Oh, 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 I see what it does. You twist the head and then, okay. All right. Okay, all right. I, I see what you've done there, Bandai. I see what you've done there. Okay, so the reason why that crest is so loose, and I didn't know this, it is loose because it needs to be loose because here's the cool part watch the crest as I turn the head around or at least as I turn the hat around watch the crest Oops. look at that the crest lifts up all by itself and then it cannot go down when it's in this position now it's not going to go down automatically but okay all right complaint retracted Okay. And he's got some pegs in his hands. What what exactly were they thinking when they uh when they attached this monster on the on the front here? They really expect us to believe that that's his chest. I can only imagine what he looks like in the show. And there's no detail there. It's all connection stuff right there. So a little bit of detail on his back, and that's it. So yeah, I mean, I guess I'm glad that I've got my own SD pirate-themed Tyrannosaurus. Wait a minute, I've already got a Tyrannosaurus. What do I need another one for? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a Quatasaurus, or it's a V-Rex head. So, yeah. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love me a little SD Robos. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. And the shoulders are on ball joints. Love that. But, um... That being said, uh, this is this part right here is basically going to go back in the box unless it's part of the uh, was it the Zenkaijuo? Yeah, unless it's part of Zenkaijuo, uh, this is probably going to end up back in the box. It's like, when am I ever going to use this? You know. And he does not come with any weapons, although he does have some suspicious pegs on the bottom of his fists, which I suppose those are pistols or flintlocks. Or they're not, and I don't care. Let's see, is this done? What do I do with this? Here's my question: Can I store this somewhere, like on the on the side of a shoulder or anything? I've only got the one piece, so is there somewhere I can slip this on? This hip? Anything? No. Well, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll find out what this is in a, in a little bit. So that's that's just going to set off to the side. But I'm here for the main event. That is uh, 
Super Zenkaiser. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Although unfortunately he cannot he can't really wield his own weapon at this point because the the peg turns in the wrong direction. So like how is he supposed to wait, there's a second handle here. It has two handles? It has two handles on it. I didn't know that. Did the instructions say that? Because if they didn't say that, I'm gonna be angry. Oh, okay, no, they're telling okay. Alright, they're saying that yeah, it does have two. Hmm. So why would it have two two pegs if you're only going to be using one of them at any given point? But the pegs are also pointing in different directions. Maybe it's the homage to like, uh, and you'll have to. I think it's Go Ryujin from um, uh, from Jew Ranger, the staff. It, it's it's the uh, it's the the was it the Dragon Sword in fighting mode? Um, the staff, the way it was held. Maybe it has something to do with that. The homage is like, you know, the arm is held straight, and then it's just, or, no, I'm sorry, the arm, whoops. Okay, there's a joint right there I didn't know about. I was trying to bend the shoulder. Yeah, see, now this is the problem, because, like, we're, you see, if it were me, I would peg those into the back. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah, the original, you know, Dragon Zord in fighting mode or whatever it is, you'd, you'd peg it in like this, because the arm the arm would be tilted for you to take 45 degrees and then hold it like this. But for some reason, they've got two pegs. Or they've got two handles. There's one... Where is it? There's one right there. And then the other one is sticking out right there. So, um... You can't even really use that, that peg right there, because it's also pointing downwards. Although I think I kind of trust this one more than I do the other one. Because this one looks like he's actually holding it as a weapon rather than it being in... Oh no, don't tell me he can't hold it. It says he can. Okay, so he actually can hold that. Although I wish the peg was a little bit longer. But yeah, he actually can hold it at an angle there. So that's... Uh, this is Super Zenkaiser. Or I'm sorry, Zenkaiser. Zenkaiser. This is this is the the actual white, you know, the guy with the goggly, whatever it is, you know, these these goggles, right there. Yeah, this this is Zenkaiser. Zenkaiser. I'm sorry. Which we were kind of wondering, and I actually said this in the Zen, Zenkaio video. I says like we were wondering what, what was going to happen with Zenkaiser, or Zenkaiser. Was he going to? have his own robot that he was going to get aboard? Well, no. It turns out that he gets an armor upgrade, and then he himself grows to giant size. Which, you know, why didn't they just do that from the start? For that matter, why even make him human? Just make him like a... Make him like a... Um, a, a Kikanoid. Make him a Kikanoid that's to, chosen to take human form. I know they did that with the other four in, like, one episode or something like that. It's like, why can you do it with your lead character? You know, for whatever reason. Like, he's he's the only one who can do it, or some trivial blah 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 they could have done. But no, they, they decided to give him a human suit, and then uh, call it good from there. This is a definite mishmash of the V-Rex and the Dragon Caesar. It's got the V-Rex's shoulders, it's got the V-Rex's uh, missile launchers uh, in the hands. I mean, b to be fair, both of them had that. But with uh, with the V Rex, they were automated. It was it was um, motorized. So you'd give a you'd give a voice command, and then the thing would, would shoot the the projectile by itself. So this is obviously a mishmash of the two. Uh, the knees are. Hmm, there's a shadow there. I wasn't anticipating. Let's see, can I take the arms off? No, because they pivot. Okay. The knees are both. Uh, it, it's it's so interesting the way they combine these two because like the shoulders is the Jew Ranger logo but the shoulder shape is from the V-Rex and they do the exact same thing here the original uh, Dragon Caesar had the uh, had the Dragon Ranger logo there and it was in in gray but the way the sh the, the way the legs are shaped is more reminiscent of the uh, of the V-Rex bottom of the feet are shaped differently from each other at least from 
the back here they're shaped a little differently so whatever but that's transformation obviously <laughs> and here's uh um uh zenkayo zenkayo's head is right there in profile so yep gosh i almost wish they would have put uh elbows on this thing but whatever why don't they put the the cannons on the back there i don't get that hmm it seems that these pegs don't get used at all or these two peg holes in the back here they don't get used at all you know i think i'm going to listen to myself and put these cannons and of course they don't fit disregard so they have to be put on the back there. Maybe I can put them like on the, flip them around 180. So like cannon sticking off his back or whatever, or back of his shoulders. Or Obviously they go here for the Zenkaijuo, which this is not. So why would they put them there? Those pegs don't get used at all. I just scanned through the instructions. Those pegs never get used. That's weird. I wonder why they would do that. Anyways, uh, the shoulders ratchet every 45 degrees. They can go all the way around. Boy, that chest is really loose. It's not pegging in there very well. Yeah, the chest is very loose. Look at this. I mean, it's supposed to come apart for... What the hell? Yeah, that doesn't latch well on there at all. That's very loose. And it actually prevents the thing from transfer, or the arms, the shoulders from moving properly. Yeah, but why though? Hmm. Okay. So here's uh, Super Zenkayo and uh, what's he called? Super. Super. What's this guy called? Because I don't, I haven't memorized his name. What's his name? Super Two Kaiser SD. Super Two Kaiser SD. There you go. I discovered this uh, trivial detail a couple of days ago, but I want to read this to you. According to the Super Sentai, or the uh, technically Power Rangers wiki, uh, uh, let's see, the Zen Kaiju drill formation was not originally meant to exist and was created during the production of the toy version by chance. So, if that's true, I'm going to check the instructions here and see if the, what's it called again? Zenkaiju drill. I want to see if the Zenkaiju drill is in the instructions here. If it's not, then uh, I don't. I don't think it is. Yeah, I think the Zenkaiju drill is unique to the series because they're not talking about it. Yeah, it's not here. So uh, I guess I'm gonna try and figure this thing out all by myself because it's not in the instructions. Now I'm not gonna be mad about it either because to be fair, the Zenkaiju drill. is not anywhere on the box it's not mentioned it's not hinted at anywhere and you know as it's you know they they discovered it while they were manufacturing the toy so like somebody quick put it into the show so <clears throat> we'll see uh we'll see how this goes that reminds me we actually have some articulation here the hips can ratchet every 45 degrees the knees ratchet every 90 degrees, and then because of transformation, you get a little bit of an ankle tilt there. So clearly that's intended for the Zenkaijuo uh, form, but still, the fact that we have a 12 inch, you know, we have a DX figure that can do this is always, it's always nice to be able to see the legs do that. Even even if it's, you know, even if it's just that little bit, it's still, it is still appreciated. Anyways, back to the drill thing. Is it actually designed to do that? Yes, it is. Wouldn't it have been funny if this was like what it was originally going to be when it was put into the box? So, whatever. <gasps> oh, okay, good. Those pop off. All right. Okay, good to know. The, uh, the chest here needs to end up down here, but there isn't enough clearance for it. Just, it just doesn't even bother. Oh! Oh, right. I was forgetting something. Maybe the chest piece comes off. Boy, that was not, that wasn't designed very well. I don't like that. It's hard to 
take this off. Huh? Oh, for a moment there, I thought this had a battery battery compartment on it, but it doesn't. Is that how far as it goes? Well, considering it wasn't designed to do this, but it is capable, uh, looks like that's not going to be very tight. Or it's not going to be... Let's see, does the head move? I don't know, it feels like the head would move. Oh yeah, the, the, the faceplate moves! Okay, I didn't know that. So the faceplate, I was wondering why there was a split there. I was like, that's a very obvious split. So it turns out I'm scratching the plastic. <laughs> Come on. So the faceplate folds down. Oh, it has to, so it can reveal uh, two, or it has to, um, uh, Zenkaiser's, or Zen, Zenkaio's face. Okay. So, oops. <laughs> so I'm guessing, does that look about right? Yep, that looks about right. So the Zenkaiju drill. How about that? So the toy is capable of doing it. They probably weren't able to get into the instructions in time, and also it wasn't... They probably didn't think it was stable enough to be able to do this, but yes, you absolutely can pull this off. Zenkaiju drill. <clears throat> How about that? If I had not read that trivia ahead of time, I wouldn't have known about this. Because, you know, it's like it's not in the instructions. So, Wait, does this have a... <gasps> he has a waist swivel! Oh, that's right, it would have to in order to do that. Oh, cool. He totally has a waist swivel on. Cool. So this is... A little loose. I don't like this. This could have pegged in a little better, honestly. And but I'm not going to be angry about this this uh, tab, this pair of tabs here, the rail here. I'm not going to be angry about that not slipping through far enough. I I can like it's there for Zenkaiju. It's not there for Zenkaiju drill. There's a difference. So you probably attach it going the opposite direction. So <laughs> and the faceplate folds down. That's funny. Okay. Good is good. I just love the fact they came up with that. It's it's an accidental homage to to uh, Go Go Jujin from from Go Kaiger. How funny is that? Which is in and of itself a reference to Time Ranger because flying drill tanks apparently come from the year three thousand. I never understood that reference. Like like it's it's three and one. Okay, but. How is a flying drill tank reference a reference to um, Time Ranger? Like, yeah, everybody's like, oh, it's the May Ray, you know, human, or it's the, you know, the 20th century, late 20th century, it's the May Ray tank, or whatever it is, or whatever it was called in Power Rangers, I don't remember. You know, it's it's a reference to that. Yeah, which was in one one episode, if I remember correctly. It was in one episode, and that was it. So, like... You know, if, if, if it was, like, related to, like, um, was it Time Jet Gamma, that would make sense, you know, because they were all jets, you know, all of them were, you know, Time Jet Gamma, uh, and then the, the, the separate Time Jets or whatever, it's like, okay, yeah, Goju Jin doing that, okay, I understand, or Goju Jin becoming Goju Drill, okay, fine, but a drill tank? I don't understand. I've got nothing wrong with flying drill tanks, I mean, they do exist, but just... How is that? How is a flying, like a flying ship, or, oh, it, it, that's how it travels to the year 3000, or whatever, it's, okay, whatever. But again, it's a drill tank. Anyone? So, yeah. Okay, so, anyways, time to look at the instructions again. And sadly, the drill bit on the end does not turn. Darn. Well, they get they did it with Goju Jin, so I guess I can't complain that loudly. Hmm. Why would you want me to attach this before I move both legs? Is there something that I like can't? Yeah, I can't move them. Why would you have me do it that way? Let's let's uh, flip both legs up first, then attach this. Yeah, I don't know why it is. The instructions said that in the reverse, because like, whoa, eek. 
Yeah, I don't know why they have you flip only one leg up, attach this, and then flip the other leg up. That 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 doesn't make sense. Get both legs to the dyno mode. This chest does not hold worth crap. There's a there's a tab there, and it's supposed to act like that, but there's a big hollow space in there, which is obviously part of the Zenkaio combination. But that tab is just useless. I'm, I'm going to have to put, like, some... Not epoxy, but... Uh, or is it epoxy? I don't know. By the way, I should point out that uh, I noticed this uh, just as I was pulling it out of the box, but I just forgot to mention it until now. The Zenkaiser logo is right there. That's cool. I like that. Oh, okay. So he does have... He does have a waist that turns, but the chest prevents the waist from turning. Not how I feel. Not not sure how I feel about that. Gosh, how they hold the uh, how this is all tied together in the chest here. It's just really it's not stable. I mean, this we should have waist articulation. We absolutely should. And this thing right here is just well. I mean, considering the fact we're already taking this off. They they could have they could have done this better I think I think they could have done this better so it's just kind of a big old fiddly mess anyways wait you've, oh all right you're supposed to turn them up because that's apparently not a wrist joint that's supposed to be something else whatever attach these to the shoulders on different pegs these cannons of course being from the V-Rex as well in the same location by the way. Now we're going to get Super 2K, Super 2 Kaiser involved here a little bit. Ah, okay, that's what the pegs, that's that's what these peg holes are for. They're exclusively for Super Super 2 Kaiser SD because he's got these little pegs on his hands. Oh, I get it. So he's Su Super 2 Kaiser SD is Super 2 Kaiser SD is riding on top of the V Rex or Zenkaijuo. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Oh, and these are peg hole or they're ball and socket joints. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, it is kind of obvious he's just riding on the back there, but but I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. So they're trying to get him to ride on top of. Now I'm tempted to watch the show just to see if that's actually true, where he's like riding on top of the the Zenkaijuo. So we here we have Zenkaijuo. Was it Cho? What did I say at the start? Cho Zenkai Gataiju Zenkaiju O. That's a mouthful. Zenkaiju O. Which is, again, both Dragon Caesar and V Rex at the same time. Because they both had missile launching fingertips. They both had, you know, a chest unit that, that did that thing. They both had a dragon dinosaur face head they both had a crest on the top they both had the 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 humanoid robot form was underneath the head or inside the head you know although i'm not entirely thrilled with the way they did the tail here uh you can't do it this way because it'll tip it over but on the other hand i think they could have set this up at a different angle this just it looks like his looks like his tail is broken like the bones inside the structure inside is broken. That's what that looks like. So you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thrilled with the way that's bending up. Cause like if you look at the, um, which one was it? The Legacy Dragon Zord had a bunch of segments that you could pull out, and then the tail could actually articulate, and the the tail end could also spin. Why can't this turn? Hello. Oh, I wonder if the tail like this is des is because of how the V-Rex's tail was designed, the, or the original one, which I don't like enough to be able to remember. Maybe this is a reference to that. I'm not certain. So yeah, the tail could have been done differently. And here's Super 2 Kaiser SD hanging on for dear life. Not gonna lie, this is an impressive beast. It's not perfect, but it is an impressive beast. I do like this. Yes, I do. And he's got over-the-shoulder cannons. Bargain. 
Missile launching fingers that double as claws. Yes, absolutely. Did I mention he has over-the-shoulder cannons? He probably shoots something from his mouth as well. So, oop, nope, not yet. Don't open that yet. And, of course, yes, the mouth uh, hinges on friction. Oops. The mouth is more so, or the, the head is, is V-Rex, because the head of uh, Super Zinkaiser is uh, is obviously the the dragon or go, is it go Ryu Jin? Is that right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, go Ryu Jin. I think is what it's called. So, yeah. Anyways, the the homages are are both there. Well, no, that's not entirely true because uh, uh, again with the chest plate, the the face is uh, it's a combination. It's both. Uh, go, was it Go Ryujin? I can't think of the name. The Dragon Zord in fighting mode. Forgive me for using that name, but I don't remember the original Japanese name. I'm sorry. But it's both that and the V-Rex's head in the in the robot mode. It's both at the same time. So I can't really again with this chest. I can't really fault them for that. But I do like that the face folds away. But yeah, Zenkaijuo. This is satisfying. So I realized two things while I was converting uh, Super Zenkaiser. Um, the first one is, uh, I wonder if at some point, if they hadn't been so fixated on the fact that these are always shoulder cannons or whatever it is, would have made for a nice, you know, handgun or blaster or something like that, or like the bottom of a staff or something like that, you know. Instead, it's just hollow garbage really they're just they're just shoulder cannons and that's it and the other thing other thing i realized is that this is the part where super two kaiser sd completely disappears for the rest of the video so say bye bye i mean i could i could be wrong about that but that is the part where he disappears in the video and you never see him again or at least he's not used anymore okay back to the instructions so just remove the arm because they can all right so remove the hand and remove the left foot. Just pull straight down on it. There's a little switch right here. So pull the left foot off. You pull the right one off as well? No, you do not. And here comes the part where the waist joint actually gets used. You take the leg here, flip it all the way around, snap that into place like that. What do I plug this into? Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. This is like this. Huh, okay. And then put the chest back up. Why would you tell me to do that? I don't know. Don't care. Whatever. Shut up. Then take the other hand. You want to flip both of the missile fingers again. Or missile claws, I guess. And you want to snap these together so they form a single arm. Oh boy! Here comes my favorite part. <laughs> Thank you! That's funny. It just completely forgot I was supposed to do that, or that, that it was still combining. That's funny. Um, this right foot is... Huh? I mean, aside from the fact that they're actually legitimately off-center from each other, the hell? That's so funny. It, it, it actually ended all by itself. That's hilarious. Again, faulty wiring. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is just take this and plug it into the foot like this. But this is garbage. It doesn't even attach. I've got to be doing something wrong here. And it just says to take this and... Oh my god, this is so weak. It's so weak. 
Yeah, they could have done that better. It's just barely hanging on. It's a pain in the ass to get on, and it it's just... <sighs> you know, it almost feels like an afterthought, like they weren't planning on doing this. And somehow the feet are actually off-center, I don't believe it. Or one, one is more ahead than the other, I think. Is this even going to stand? Yeah, it will, but... Oh, boy. Okay, so that's disappointing. Ah, here we go. All right, now we're now we're attaching the accessory clip. Oh, I get it. This is for one of the cannons. All right, okay. And snaps and use the exact same clip that Majin's uh, wings usually use. And then you attach the cannons. So then, what's that for? Other than a screw hole, what is that for? I don't know. Looks prominent enough. I should be paying attention. But on the other hand, I haven't seen it used for anything yet. That's hilarious. I actually forgot that it was combining. God, how stupid. Stupid wiring problem. And then finally... Yeah, 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 the big reveal. And reminder, bad wiring. masks and come undone again okay some things never change I guess oops it's actually safe to hang on to the left leg or I'm sorry the right leg it's actually safe to do that but that foot that cl that, that that left foot is just not it's not having it at all This actually has some legitimate stability problems, and I'm not going to say, well, like, oh, it was so ambitious, you know. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's, it's, it's got some, it's got some stability problems. Like surprising as that sounds. And of course, you've got the V-Rexes blasters or the Quantasaurus, the Q-Rexes missile launchers. And then you've got the other hand because reasons. Oh, look. Bumped up against his mask. Oh, even more so than usual because that clip-on piece. The clip-on piece pop, er, bounces against Juron's head. What is this toy? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's incredibly ambitious, but, like, it's always bumping into his... It, it's bumping into the little orange crest on his head. There's nothing I could do to stop it, either. Oh, we're back to this again already. Yeah, I can't, I can't even get the arm to 90 degrees, because it, it it pushes it, well, you know, what I can do is I can actually take Giron's head, and I need to look at what I'm doing, I can take Giron's head and fold it up 180 degrees, so ordinarily, ordinarily his head is down here, so I've just taken it and pushed it up here, so that should, should take care of the problem, it kind of does, and the paint is going to be scratched. If it wasn't for the electronics, I'll say it again, if it wasn't for the electronics, that visible head syndrome would not be a problem 1L right now. It wouldn't be a problem at all. But because they insisted on putting electronics in it, they had to put Giron's head somewhere. And guess what? Now it's getting in the way. Oh, by the way, his mask popped up again. Just... Uh, yes, your name is Giron. Thank you. And the cannon 
the left, the left shoulder cannon keeps getting caught on it every single time. Uh, you know, I wonder if you can actually take the shoulder cannons and put them in the... Well, left. Oh, that's right, it only has one hand. If it can, that'll be nice, but I seriously doubt it. Yeah, that's going nowhere near. Of course, you can't peg it in. You can't tab it in. You can't do anything except for putting it right there. Uh, and the kaiju -o is almost more trouble than it's worth. Almost. Oh, yeah, I haven't taken a look at the face yet. Green visor. Gotta love it. Jew Ranger logo. Right here, the Ranger Z right there. And then the false chest neck of the, the Dragon Caesar coming up the side. And then this Dragon Caesar's head is pointing is pointing that way. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'm not gonna argue. That's good. I like that. So not only does this have over-the-shoulder cannons, but it also has the potential for some a little bit of a Tano Circus. One of my other mecha fetishes, Itano Circus. <laughs> With the potential for the arm, the left arm, to swing back if you want. So you can actually get some additional posability that way. Hmm. Uh, that being said, it doesn't exactly snap into place very solidly either. It's, it's a bit loose. I don't know. There's some, defi there's some definite stability problems here. But, I mean... <sighs> What it's doing is fine. It's just how it did it. And also, I should point out, let's see, is there a dragon's head in there? Not really. I mean, it's the Jew Ranger Z yet again. That's fine. Uh, they've got that thing plastered all over the place. Although, oddly enough, they don't have the Time Ranger logo, which was... Oh, it was, one, it was an arrow, or whatever it is. Actually, no, 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 they think about it, it was an arrow, which is not too dissimilar from the arrowhead that is the uh uh I'm missing something here. Wait a minute. Doesn't it have a Oh no. Um was it uh Tukayo or uh, what's this called? Uh Super Tukayo. Yeah, Super Tukayo has the uh has the uh has this and this. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, so it's, it's actually, from my perspective, because I am probably am going to be getting two Kyo at this point, I'm just saying, I don't want to get two Kyo, because I really don't like it that much. Um, probably this actually gets left behind. But, I mean, when you're splitting an homage between two different robots, obviously, some if you don't get one of them, some stuff's going to get left behind. Didn't I say this wasn't going to get on camera anymore? Yeah, I did. Shut up. I thought that this is as far as I was going to go. I don't know. Like I'm looking at the picture of Super 2 Kyo and just... It only has one functional shoulder. And that's it. Oh! Mm, that reminds me. Um, because we're dealing with symmetrical docking here, uh, it also means that this thing... Could also combine with uh, the Kikanoid Vroom. Want to see me do it? Okay, so there's a couple of things that I forgot to point out while I still had Super Zenkaio Jordan. I cannot roll my R's. I'm sorry. Well, I had uh, Super Zenkaio uh, Juran combined there. Um, because Juran is the homage to, uh, to Jew Ranger, you also had the Dragon Caesar combining with uh, the, was it Daijujin. So, you know, the, the, the greats return. It just seems like, you know, Power Rangers has such a had such a heavy influence on those two, or on that, on Jew Ranger. Like, Japan, they, like, can't ignore it anymore, so they're kind of being forced to put them together every chance they get. But now we've gotten even closer. Like, we've had a, I think we've had a couple of Daijujin homages, but a Dragon Caesar? You know, we've, we haven't had one of those kinds of homages, well, actually, since, since that, so, you know, whatever. But still, you know, it was... An homage of seeing the two combining with each other. That's that's a, a nice thing to see again. So that was the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed is that even though the clip is located in the same place, uh, this cannon is not going to fit on the back of, of Vroom's uh, shoulder. So that's this is not happening. Um, and the foot 
is not designed to is is not going to fit on the bottom here. I don't see, I don't see how it can fit on there. So this is not happening either. Ugh. Still need to remove the batteries for these things. I'm like, I guess it's an interesting thing that the sound effects are only for the transmission because it gets you involved in the transmission, makes you part of it. But that being said, it's still pretty annoying. Because this hasn't happened in the show, I don't even know if it's going to recognize this combi combined form. We'll learn together. So it does recognize it. Huh? That, that, that occurred to me, like, just before I put the two together. I'm like, is Vroom even going to have a sound effect that's associated with Super, Super Zenkaio Broom? Is it even going to recognize it? Apparently it does. As, as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm looking at the... Actually, I'm going to look at the wiki. As far as I'm aware... Uh, it says appearances in Kaiju episodes to be announced. So maybe they are planning to put this into the show at some point. They just haven't done it yet. So, yeah, I mean, th it is capable of doing this, absolutely. And then we'll give him his blaster thingy, whatever it is. So th this has not happened yet. But considering we're only on, like, episode... We're in like the late 30s or maybe early 40s episodes at this place for Zenkaiser, or Zenkaiger because it's going to be ending, you know, in February. So like maybe this is going to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. So we'll we'll see what happens. So here's a uh, Super Zenkaio Broom. Brrr, I can't roll my R. Broom. A bit more solid, I should point out. A bit more solid. I mean, don't get me wrong, Zenkaijuo still has, you know, the brunt of the problems, but it actually can do this, you know. <laughs> if only they'd had the had the guts to have uh, Zenkaijuo be able to, to go in the opposite. You know, I wonder if it even can go the other way. No, it can't, because the, the chest armor and the head won't allow you to go the other way. I kind of wish it was ambidextrous, so you could play it as either a right side component or a left side component, but... Uh, Alas, that will not happen. I wonder if you can get the hand to... No, the hands are too small. They really want you to use this as the battle station side of things. So there you go. Does this foot come off? I don't think so. No, that's solidly in there. And yeah, again... Um... Yeah, that doesn't fit on there at all. There's there's no way for me to get the foot... The, uh, the other foot on there, so... These kind of get left behind, and the left arm gets left behind because it doesn't, it also does not snap onto the side of the angle there, so. So there you go. Zenkaijuo. Well, most of it. <laughs> uh, God, I wonder if I should even bother getting a Tukayo at this point. I don't want to. I really don't want to. It looks cheap. The only thing that's kind of interesting about it is the, uh, well, let's be honest, I love, you know, like I mentioned, I love Chibi Robos, that's that's fine with me, I've got no problem with that, but um, I kind of wish that the Chibi Robos were actually in, like, the gimmick of the series as opposed to, like, a feature of one Robo, and then the other Robos do their own thing, you know, so, like, I like it, it's nice, whatever, but... Um, I don't know, two Kaio, just, I don't know, maybe it'll bug me enough that I eventually get a two Kaio, that, that's, that's possible, it has happened before, I mean, like, the exact same thing happened with, um, Hyper Gose Great, originally I was, like, it bugged me enough, like, I, I, I took a second shot at Gose Great, 
And then at the exact same time, I picked up the uh, uh, which which brothers Skike brothers Skike brothers set. So I purchased those. But then it bugged me for about two months. It's like, you know, you've got this. Why don't you just go the whole way? And then I ended up getting Hyper Go Seek, right? And, and, then, and then I also got the um, um, uh, the Mystic Brothers. I ended up getting those at the same time because I didn't have any beef against those to begin with. So that might be the case here where, like, I've got this and then it bothers me enough that eventually I succumb and get myself a 2 KO. That, that may very well happen. I'm not saying it will. I'm just saying it might it's it's been known to happen with me so uh, i'm not exactly thrilled with two ko but uh i don't see why i shouldn't do it telephone's ringing because i need to pick it up oh yeah it's close to dinner time and so once again merry christmas and please look forward to one more zen kaiser video to come for me in the near future this is avi unit 4a saying thank you very much for tuning in